Good afternoon, Flosstube. I had to check because I started getting ready for this uh, video about an hour ago, but I've only started doing it now. I had to go back and check some stuff, make sure I had everything, and um, then we can proceed. So <clears throat> I have been stitching up a storm. Well, for me, you guys know I don't have a lot of projects. I'm not one of those, um, which is fine for me. I keep my amount of projects slow because I like completion better than um, starting new projects. I also don't have the capital right now to be buying lots of projects, so really it's a trade-off. So, um, But I have been actually getting a lot of progress, sorry, itchy eye. I've been getting a lot of progress done. Uh, except for not this week. I haven't really been stitching this week because I have a project due in school and that's basically we're working out all of the kinks. It's our first game that we're building and it's we're doing you know our class of six artists are doing all of the graphic work for a game that the programmers are programming which is basically um, their, I think their class is like at least 20, if not 25 people. So there's a lot of game and not a lot of artists to do the art for that game. So we've been kind of getting to this week and thinking we got done and all of a sudden 10 other things pop up and we have to go and do those too. So it's been a really cool experience. We, we started two weeks before class, before uh, break. We did some stuff independently over the break, and then it's been two weeks to finalize it again. So, really kind of cool. It was really good going through the process of, of actual front to the beginning to end game creation. It's not going to win any awards, but I kind of like it. So, that has been keeping me from really stitching this week. But that's okay, because I still have a lot to show you guys. Um, also, I'm sporting my new haircut. Yeah, all myself. Everything. I cut my own hair. I know. It's <laughs> so, remember last episode um, when I showed you guys the trimmer set that came with like scissors and clips and everything? So, last week before school, before I went back to school on Tuesday, I got into my head that I needed to give myself a haircut because I don't know if you guys remember, this was down to here, but it was like all split ends and really bad because I bleached my hair. And so I got rid of at least, what, three inches, I think. And I actually managed to cut it pretty straight. If It looks a little bit better when I've um, used the iron on it to curl it under, but and then, so this week, what I ended up doing is the bleaching, which is process two usually in my, um, I usually do this about every three months, just because, not the trimming, I haven't done the trimming before myself. I've always done the shaving myself, which actually that's getting kind of long again, even only after a week. But it's so much better with my actual hair trimmer now than trying to do it with a beard trimmer. That was bad. Um, so I did the bleaching yesterday. So my roots are all bleached now, and probably someday this weekend I'm probably going to do the pink. I like to leave it in as long as possible, on average, um, seven to eight hours. It's a very, 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 very mild dye. It's completely vegan, um, all natural dye, um, and it uh, is so mild. You don't even feel it on your hair. You know how a lot of box dyes if you dyed your hair yourself it burns this stuff does not it is so gentle on your scalp and everything else it's and the longer you leave it in the better the absorption also if you color treat or or color not decolorify what is it called decolorify where the hell did i got that from um you remove the color like with bleaching or uh, no chemically processed okay so the the dyes which are the manic panic dyes, that's what I use. They react best to chemically, previously chemically treated hair. They 
previously climbing truly treated hair, it basically becomes a little bit damaged and lets it soak up more of the the dye than natural dye, hair, which is why those hair colors last so much longer if you bleach the hair underneath first, which is what I always do. And I actually did a pretty good job. Most of the times when I bleach my hair, I usually get some on the stubble, so I end up going over the stubble again, but I didn't have to. That's pretty good. Um, sorry, <laughs> I saw that. So lots of things keep me busy. But to the stitching, because I actually have some done. So, first of all, when I last saw you guys, I was working on the Ingleside Imaginarium Birthstone Dragon Sampler. No, Mystery Stitch Along. And uh, what I had gotten done was the inner frame. And now, as you can see, I have a dragon! It's the January Garnet Dragon. I'm going to bring it up because you can see all the amazing little details, which are really stunning. It's, it's, there's, I think, three different color reds, three different color oranges in this, a little bit of black, a tiny dot of green, and some black back, back stitching. But the amount of detail in such a teeny tiny little space is just amazing. I cannot wait to see what she does with the other, um, with the other dragons. So this is January Garnet. Like you can see, he's holding a little garnet right there. And I called, I've named him because all dragons new names. Um, this is Gary. So Gary the Garnet Dragon. And he looks fantastic on the background. I love it. Um, so what I end up doing is, after I saw you guys last, I started here, over here. So I started here doing the outside border. So I brought it down here and then I brought it down over here. And when I got to here, when I got to this spot, it wasn't lining up. And then I counted and no, I'm the backwards. It's this way, it's, it's a mirror. So it was this way. So I went to here, I got to this one and this one wasn't lining up. <clears throat> and because it wasn't lining up, um, I knew that this line was basically one stitch too far this way. So I had to bring it back one stitch. So I ended up having to frog this entire line. And I also frogged the middle bits. I didn't touch these lines or I tried not to. Um, and then this outside line, cause you, if you saw how it was, I just had done this outside line here. So I had to move that line as well over one um, to make sure, because that was the right size. So unfortunately, I had to basically move two full lines over one stitch. That was really annoying. I almost, almost left it as it was and fudged the frame, but I couldn't do it. I had to make sure that it was perfect because I didn't know what the size of this one was going to be and if it would look off with an extra stitched area. Anyway, I'm happy I did it. It took me about three hours to completely redo and get back to stitching the outer frame. And then I think the next day I ended up finishing the outer frame. So all this, all the frame was completely done before January 1st when we got this little guy and he is just amazing. Um, there's one, someone on the, um, Ingleside Imaginarium, uh, pay, uh, Facebook group had the very clever idea and I would, would give credit. I just, I don't remember who it is right now. Oh, and it fits very nice on a, a, a fat quarter. Actually, it's a little bit big for a, a fat quarter. So even a fat quarter, if it was like a 14 count or a 28 count over two, it would probably still work. Now, it's not a fat quarter. This is a fat eighth. What am I talking about? So it, it fits very perfectly on a fat eighth. I think almost as if it was, you know, planned for one. Ooh. So um, someone actually ended up stitching the garnet, but then had a like a, like a jewel that they put on top of that as well, which was really neat and I might shamelessly steal that idea, but we will see. Um, my mom has a huge collection of uh, bracelet beads 
and I've asked her to have a, uh, a look and if she had a couple that were um, the right size and um, color for for this and as always toothless is keeping hold of this so this is basically done until February 2nd February 1st when we get the amethyst dragon and it's really neat the 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 dragon um, the pattern with the first dragon came in and she had a little blurb so this is the this is the western style dragon which is basically mostly known as the fantasy style dragon um, and apparently there's gonna be all kinds of like sea serpents and Asian dragons and other things that are considered dragons and it's just it's gonna be amazing I know I know it is so I'm really looking forward to seeing the amethyst dragon and all that but this goes away until February 1st and hopefully I'll be still stitching them as soon as they come in as soon as possible next um, once I was done that I think I finished that on the 2nd of January I pulled out Sailor Moon and I've been stitching on her all of last week and I got quite a bit of progress um, the hair all of the hair and all the orange is all done except for the areas that need white which as I said before I tend to get very very grimy fingers so white um, I always do at the end just to make sure it stays as clean as possible um, yeah these are completely filled in now except for the white highlights but I don't know if you can really tell here where's the dark orange and the light orange it's very subtle but it looks so good and it gives a lot of shape and roundness to the the, the character and real feel of you know animation that kind of animation cell uh, shading so right now and you can hardly hardly see it you can only see it really because it blocks up the holes behind I started on the wings so I don't know if you can even tell this here is stitched that's stitched yeah you can tell a little bit there's some in her thing so basically every area that's left is gonna be white but it because it's white it has um, three shades of blue as the shading um, so this is like the, this is basically the blue that has the most surface area for the next um, so it starts here, comes here, comes here. It's on these, so it's it's a it's the medium blue. I know I think it's the lightest blue. So um, on the other side is going to be white. This is going to be mostly white. Um, on the inside is where the other blues are going to be, and it's going to be a lot less. So I wanted to do it this way because I ended up getting a lot done very quickly. So I got most of this, the blue in this side, done in one day. And then I finished over here. The light, I'm losing the light a little bit. And then I came, if you can see here under her arm, that all blue is done as well. So that's where I'm at now, is working down here. And then I'm going to do this. And then it's more confetti in here, so I'm going to leave this to the last. And then there's a little bit of blue in here and around her Odongos. I think that's what they're called and blue and white here and blue and white on her boots so there's still a lot of it and I'm just basically going through color now so I'm gonna be doing this this light blue on everything because it's the, it's the one that basically has the most stitches left except for the white so yeah she I know it doesn't look like a lot of progress but there's actually a lot of stitching that was done here hundreds and hundreds of stitches all over here in here a little bit on her knuckles and just a little bit in there and then here on every one of these yeah you can see it a little bit there you go you can see it a bit more it's hard to see but it's still a lot of stitching there so really gonna be happy when um, I can start filling in the some of the darker colors and really seeing those colors I don't think that you're gonna actually be able to tell really see the light blue until the white goes in and that's okay too but there's a lot of it there's a lot of this light blue so that's basically what I'm doing for the next few 
uh, well, I guess until February 1st and I get the next dragon is this one I'm going to be working on. Um, probably mostly in the weekends because, um, uh, weekdays is still very busy with school and I'm actually coming up on my internship soon so I have to start really working on my portfolio for that. So that's the other moon, what I'm working on now. Really can't wait to see her done. I just, I desperately want to see her done because she's just, she deserves it. Um, she's actually my oldest whip from when I started cross-stitching again, so. Um, I have another few little things that I got. Um, I participate every year in the Reddit uh, Secret Santa, which is like the world's largest Secret Santa exchange. I think there was over 100,000, 108,000 of us t this year. Previous years there have been more, and, and before we were actually, um, we, we, we won the Guinness, we broke the Guinness world record twice, um, in two consecutive years, but we don't do that anymore. We don't do the world record, but it is the largest Secret Santa exchange in the world. So, um, this year I got a really nice assortment box of things from my Secret Santa, and she saw that, um, my hobby was cross-stitching, because I'm a poster and, and oftentimes commenter on the cross-stitch subreddit, so she sent me the subversive cross-stitch book, which is, I'm not going to go through it, because they're definitely not, you know, safe for children's ears, and I know a lot of you people like to watch with your children. They're very simple designs, you know, the F word. I kind of like this one the most. I'm going to cover up the pattern. I kind of like this one a lot because it just leaves it up to your graduation. It's like you fill in the curse word kind of idea. Um, a very, there we go, um, very ironic baby sampler. Don't be such a baby. That's cute. Yeah, they're, they're simple designs. And you know what? I really dig some of the um, motifs around them. They're not really usually my style. But I think for cute, quick, um, uh, cute, quick, uh, little um, projects for people who don't mind um, you know, a little bit of obscenity in their cross stitch. It, it makes for a cool, a cool book to have. So that's the other one. That's another unconventional baby sam uh, sampler. Baby suck. <laughs> it's so true though. Um, so yeah, it's, it's cute and it's kind of funny and it's kind of irreverent and I like it. I like the forward and everything like that. It's a good book. I'm glad to have it. Um, the last was also a Christmas present that came, um, it was actually basically a present I bought myself from a Amazon gift card that I got from some family in the States, or some of my daughter's family in the States. And it's a kit I've been eyeing for a while and it's my first dimension gold kit. So, um, I'm very, very happy to get it. And it is the Magician, Magnificent Wizard. And if I can get it without the glare of everything. There we go. That's a little, there we go. So it's this amazing wizard and dragon. And obviously they're working together harmoniously to create this glowing orb of love spell between them. They're obviously not fighting each other to the death, because that would be wrong. Who would do that to a dragon? Really? Um, anyway, I've seen this stitched up, and at first I... At first I dismissed this pattern because the pictures that they show of it online don't do it justice. And then I saw someone stitch it up, and holy cow, it looks amazing stitched up. And even just the picture, like, this is way better than the picture that you can see online. It's 
so many subtle, like the rock is very, very subtle. Apparently there's a mixture of different kind of um, uh, stitches. So there's half stitches some places and um, blended colors and just the color. What I really like is how they ended up getting the fire highlights on the outside here of the wizard and then up on the the dragon's face and his arms and all that i think my dragon's going to be a little bit more cheery and here i am dropping shit all over the place again i mean stuff and um i think i'm going to try to make him look a little bit more friendly but anyway that's for totally a different time i'm very impressed with the um dimension gold kit and how they're organized with the um, this thing. I don't know if it's good or not yet, but I like how it looks. The only thing I don't like how it looks is the uh, DMC gold thread over here. Yeah, I think I got some uh, Krennic gold that's gonna be replacing that for sure. I love, you know what I love about the pattern? I can't show it to you though. What I love about the pattern is they have when you open it up, they have the two page full size huge pattern and it's cut down the middle and it's huge. Um, but also if you just look on the back, they have a smaller one full page pattern. Why that is awesome is because I can scan that full one page um, pattern very simply on my home scanner and I can uh, scan it at such a high resolution then I can zoom right in and I won't even have to you know cut and paste like I had to do before it's, an, it's a real pain in the ass when you have to open up one of these huge patterns and it's usually on both sides so the one pattern is on one side and it's like takes up this big you know and then you flip it over and then the other part of the pattern is on the other side and you're like oh crap and then because I work with electronic working copies um, take out my scanner and they don't fit so you have to kind of cut and paste so you go oh, okay, I'll scan up most of it, it and then I'll move it over and I'll scan the other part and then I have to transpose those in Photoshop and make sure they match up and line up and a lot of times because it's such a big awkward piece it's never scanned completely straight so you have to try to rotate it very slightly so it just fits perfectly and oh my gosh it lines up perfectly down here but down here it does not at all and because it, this one is like a millimeter bigger than this one and it, it's pain in my butt and I hate doing it and from now on for those kind of patterns I'm either A, desperately finding the digital copy to buy instead of the physical copy and B, if I can't, um, I'm probably going to end up taking them to like, because um, I know Staples here in Canada, which is an office supply store, they often have um, a print shop and they'll have full size copy machines that you can actually um, take a copy to a like a, a memory stick so you can scan a copy to a memory stick right there so it, it's probably going to be end up what I'm going to be doing for working copies of like my Mirabilia and certain other kits that I've gotten that have these really weird awkward um, things on them so actually I was just thinking something so I got this kit as a dragon. I got that other dragon in that exchange a little while ago, which was also, it's like the pink and green dragon on a black background with like the Celtic knot frame. Pretty sure you guys have seen it. Uh, I have the Burstone dragons. Um, I have my dragon rider. And that's it. and my other kits are basically Sailor Moon things that aren't dragon related that I have is basically Sailor Moon and oh my uh, Gypsy Queen and the oh Celestial Tiger a tiger of the heavens a tiger hanging on to the planet the white one um, so yeah my dragon cross stitches actually outnumber my other cross stitches <laughs> living up to the name okay um i feel thoroughly silly um but i'm glad i got this i've been wanting to do this um video all week 
and I'm glad I finally got to. So I need to go now because I have to do some homework before school. So I hope you guys all have a great Stitchy Week. I might not be back next week, depending on how much I get done over this weekend, because it's, um, if it's not a lot, then I, it doesn't make any sense for me to do a video, because what fun is that? So it might be another two weeks, but we'll see. Um, I hope everyone has a great Stitchy time. I hope you get a ton of stitching done, and the frog leaves you the hell alone. Um, Everyone also have a great new year. 2017 has a lot of potential. <laughs> Let's not live it down. Let it down. Oh God, why am I so silly today? Anyway, um, that's it. I'm just going to shut up now and go. So uh, have a great day. Bye.